You're nearing the end of your journey, Keeper. You and the staff are nearly connected. Are you ready to proceed? I'm ready. Let's go. Back so soon? Alethea, I know I wasn't gone long in the Animus, but I couldn't wait. I've been thinking about whether or not I should let you continue. And I have my answer, but I'm afraid you won't like it. Don't tell me I can't go into the third simulation. I'm sorry, Layla. I made a miscalculation, and I factored you in when it was a mistake to do so. I see that clearly now. It's time for you to leave Atlantis. You can't do this. Not now! I've seen Elysium and the Underworld. You can't take that away! If I'd known this reality would go the direction it did, you wouldn't have seen any of it. You're too human. Your DNA has succumbed to the corrupting nature of the staff. Listen, I know the bleeding effect is real, and accessing Themos's memory did affect me. But I've studied Isu artifacts. This is the last stage of my trials. When it's over, my DNA will be able to overcome the staff's control. Perhaps. But you won't see that through. My simulations are closed to you. I'm really sorry, Alethea. For everything up until now. You had such high hopes for me. I did, yes. But that was my own fault. I should never have let you go down this path. No, that's the thing. You were right. You saw something in me that... That I'd be the one to bring balance. And I still can if you let me. Even if I were to let you in, your doctor is dead. If I could take that back, I would. But I can't. And I have to keep going. From her calculations, your body wouldn't be able to withstand the simulations. My body is fine. The staff kept Cassandra alive for thousands of years. I've got a protection guarantee. Your mind is a different story altogether. You don't have the sense to see its degradation. When you break it down, this staff heals, Alethea. I could come out of this smarter. More in control. Invincible. That's quite a leap in logic. Just let me see for myself. Please. Go. Oh my god, thank you. You won't regret this. Here we go. I'll see you inside. Enough! No need to shout. This isn't your domain, brother. Hey, this has nothing left to offer you. You are never meant to stay here, nor release you. You didn't belong on Gephalonia, and you didn't belong in Sparta. I can offer you a place you do belong. It's time you finally found it. Atlantis awaits. 
Anywhere is better than here. I won't forget this. There's no need for that here. You're safe. I've heard that before. This place isn't like any other you've been. There's no Persephone. No Hades. Just you. Just me. The Castis Vasilevs, the grand adjudicator of all Atlantis. But to you, I am Poseidon. What I'm offering you, Keeper of the Stuff, is a place at my side. Join me as my biggest is. Welcome home. me to live among you. A home among gods. Gods? We are much more than the human conception of gods. Your father called us the ones who came before. But as Alithia told you, we are the issue. You know about my stuff, Pythagoras and Alithia? I'm starting to feel very watched. Your trials in both Elysium and the Underworld? No. Your triumphs there are known to us. My trials forced me into rebellion. They made me face the dead. My hardships make me a good Dicastis. We don't always choose our path. But in this case, your blood shows for you. You possess both DNA strands. The best of humans and Isu. I have no doubt that you are our mutual future. an honor. Where do I start? Humans have five senses to understand the world around them. We have been blessed a sixth. Knowledge. Ah, no! It is not merely your vision of the ego. The essence of that sense sleeps now, but it can be awoken in Atlantis. Your stuff is more than a key. It's a bridge between who you are now and who you must become. And if I fully awaken this sixth sense, I'll have mastered the staff? That and more. Come, let me show you. I accessed power sources in Elysium and the Underworld. They helped my knowledge, I think, but they haven't changed my senses. In Atlantis, you find the sources that awaken your new sense much more concentrated. Not only will your knowledge grow here, but it will thrive. You'll find three such sources once you leave this palace. You know them as Keeper's Insights. Doesn't look like anyone can get through. It's blocked to those who haven't full access to our knowledge. Find the source of that knowledge within this palace. Try to pass through once you do.
You need an intervention. I couldn't stop you physically, but perhaps I can make you understand through technical means. No, I've got this. Stay out of it. Strange, but it feels like the stuff is becoming a part of me. I think I'm starting to understand. It's like I can feel Isu memories and hear their wisdom. <laughs> Now I know what you meant about the sources being more concentrated. I feel different. Many things are different here, the Castis. You'll discover that in time. Atlantis awaits you. I have one rule that is absolute. Our technology cannot be used on my human civilians. Their bodies cannot withstand the power. The Isu know this above all. So, I'm free to go? What task should the Dicastis do first? Even Atlantis is not a perfect society. It yearns for balance. So be that balance. Then when your role as guide to the people is fulfilled, it may well be perfection. Don't worry. You've already earned my respect, which is a trial in itself. Castis, His Eminence Atlas humbly requests that you join him at his doma to discuss a matter of grave importance. Right. I'll make sure to stop by. His Eminence? This place is more kings than Sparta. 